Hi there, and thank you for watching this December holiday edition of the Animal Services Podcast. Coming up in this episode, we'll show you how Animal Services is getting in the holiday spirit and how you can continue to help us with our no-kill mission. Plus, we'll tell you how one of our national partners are stepping up big to help prevent unplanned litters. But let's get started by looking at our live release rate for the month of November. Last month, Animal Services had a live release rate of 82%. This is an increase from our previous month, which had a live release rate of 80%. We like to remind you that there are several ways to help us reach our goal of achieving an average annual live release rate of 90% or higher. You can always adopt, foster, volunteer, or donate. For more information, visit us online at epanimalservices.com. While we have some great news to share, Animal Services will soon be able to better serve the animals of El Paso thanks to a generous donation from one of our national partners. PetSmart Charities will be donating more than $125,000 in medical equipment and supplies to Animal Services to help us enhance our spay-neuter efforts. The equipment includes items like surgery tables, kennels, sterilizers, surgical kits, and various other items. The addition of this equipment will allow animal services veterinarians to serve more animals at one time, which means less unplanned litters. City Council officially accepted the donation earlier this month, and the supplies are expected to arrive in the coming weeks. Thank you again to PetSmart Charities for continuing to be an amazing life-saving partner. While it's quite obvious animal services is getting into the holiday spirit, thanks to help from the community. Our giving tree is up in the Animal Services Center lobby, and visitors have already started taking wish cards from the tree to help our shelter pets in our care. Some of the requested items on our giving tree include kitten formula, blankets and towels, pet beds, toys, and other items that will provide an extra bit of comfort to the pets of Animal Services. It is not too late to pick up a wish card, so come visit us today. In addition, we want to say thank you to the Retired and Senior Volunteer Program and the Foster Grandparent Program, who also put up giving trees around El Paso that also feature wish cards from our shelter pets and other less fortunate populations. The group had a festive tree lighting ceremony, and we can't thank them enough for being a partner this holiday season. Also, we want to say thank you to our Silva Magnet High School volunteers who made dozens of stockings for our pets. The students' volunteers placed the decorations on the kennels earlier this month, giving the center a nice holiday touch. The students are hoping the extra holiday cheer will result in more animals finding their forever homes. Speaking of holiday cheer, last month Animal Services kicked off the holiday season by taking part in the Thanksgiving Sun Bowl Parade. They save over 80% of the animals that come into the shelter. That's amazing. That's great. Staff, volunteers, and our pets strutted alongside our adoption van and animal protection unit, encouraging the more than 200,000 people on the parade route to adopt, foster, volunteer, and donate. We'd like to thank the Sun Bowl Association for all their hard work organizing this year's parade, which has become a Thanksgiving tradition for animal services. And since it is the holiday season, Animal Services is selling gift certificates for anyone who wants to gift a pet. The gift certificates are $20 and are good for one adoption, which includes the animal spay-neuter procedure, microchip, age-appropriate vaccinations, and city license. The certificates will be valid for six months and allows families to select their pet together rather than selecting a pet for someone else. To purchase your gift certificate, just visit us in person at the Animal Services Center. We're located at 5001 Fred Wilson and we're open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. December is also known as the giving season and we'd like to remind you that in addition to in-kind donations, Animal Services also accepts monetary donations. If you'd like to make a monetary donation, you can always drop by in person at the Animal Services Center and leave your gift. We thank everyone that has already made their donation this giving season. Your gifts are making a big impact in our life-saving success, and we are grateful for your support. In other news, recently one of our very own shelter veterinarians took part in a historic initiative to spay and neuter thousands of dogs and cats in Puerto Rico. Animal Services Chief Veterinarian Dr. Alana Canup was part of a skilled group of veterinarians that visited Puerto Rico last month 
as part of the Humane Society of the United States Spayathon for Puerto Rico. The goal of the initiative is to alter over 20,000 dogs and cats in underserved communities across the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico, which is dealing with an overwhelming pet population. Dr. Knup said the experience was one to remember and was honored to be invited to help in this extraordinary initiative. And lastly, we want to remind you that animal services will be closed on certain days later this month in observance of the holidays. The Animal Services Center will be closed on Christmas Day, December 25th, and New Year's Day, January 1st. The center will also reduce its hours on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. We will be open at 11 a.m. and close early at 2 p.m. on those days. Well, that does it for us on this holiday edition of the Animal Services Podcast. Again, we want to wish everyone a very happy and safe holiday season. And we want to thank you for being a friend and a partner of Animal Services, because without your help, we cannot save more lives.